How much longer until silver becomes unaffordable? Been seeing a lot of different uh, things on this, a lot of current events type of thing leading to this, this thing of silver going way up in price where people won't be able to afford it anymore. And uh, I remember hearing about that uh, down in, in, over in Germany back in the early 1900s during the Weimar Republic years with all the hyperinflation and everything, that there were people that were buying office buildings in Berlin, downtown Berlin, with a few ounces of silver. Um, silver was very valuable. And historically, it's been, ratio of silver to gold has been about 15 silver ounces to one ounce of gold. And it's, you know, 80, 90, something like that right now, ounces of silver. It's very cheap, in other words. Historically, it's never been this cheap before in this time period, the last number of years. I think during the scamdemic, it was something like 120 to one just crazy and my question is how much longer will it be until the price of silver goes straight up um, the 13 largest banks in America have been shorting silver and keeping the price suppressed um, but there's other countries BRICS countries and things are getting ready to do their dollar thing here in October um, they might roll it out we're not really sure yet um, there's another meeting in in uh, September, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. The silver to paper ratio, I think it's 403 or something like that, ounces of silver that's promised to people for every one ounce that's actually there. I mean, there's so many different things. And the time will come when if you have not invested in it, you will regret it, okay? Um, that's just the way it's going to be. Let me show you something here to kind of illustrate my point a little bit further. We just got done with this pile of wood here the last couple of days. Kind of a weird bunch of small little pieces. You say, what's that for? Well, that's for a rocket stove. Not a regular regular wood stove, it's a rocket stove. You want skinny pieces of wood for that. So we were able to wait a little bit longer in the summer months here, and uh, but our regular firewood's already split, solid split, ready to, it's being dried right now, ready for winter. This stuff here will dry out quicker because it's smaller, but you know, you have to, split it in half so it's got a surface that uh, it'll dry out. If it's just the bark, it won't dry out very efficiently, even though it's small, um, still takes a while. But split, it will dry out quickly. The point being, um, there's a time to do this. And the time to split and get ready for winter is not in the winter, it's in the summer, right now. So that this has plenty of time to dry. Dear Christian, there is a time for you to work for the Lord. And there is a time when it's too late to work. Um, nobody knows how much time we have left on this earth. But I do know that uh, someday we will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account of what we've done with our life that God gave us. How have you served him? How have you worked for him? Um, your works will be judged. So, uh, and you will have a time of regret there if you haven't worked for the Lord. Um, so I'm going to leave some links at the end so that you can study about the judgment seat of Christ, learn about that, and understand the importance of working for Jesus Christ and the importance of wanting that heavenly gold and silver and precious stones that are given out at the judgment seat of Christ. And for all you nuts out there that think that gold and silver, there's really no value to them, uh, I recommend you get saved. You'll understand then, okay? Um, but let me know your thoughts, too, about uh, what you think about silver. Like I said, again, I'm hearing it could go triple digits. It could even go, you know, over a 1,000 an ounce. I don't know how nutty things are going to get. But if it gets to that point and you have silver, you're going to be doing very well. And you will be able to retain money where everybody else is going to have a much harder time. When they lower interest rates in September, um, more people are going to go out borrow money, which will make the money supply go up, which makes the price of everything go up. It devalues the dollar. So uh, you have to understand some of these things. But uh, that will be it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.